I don't know if you guys saw this new working paper from Thomas Piketty. One of the things that he finds is there's a direct correlation between these sort of like sectarian conflicts and your inability to do anything good from an economic policy perspective. Hmm. So the couple of places that have bucked the trend of basically all of the educated elites moving to the left party and all of the like sort of more working class population moving towards the right party Those are places, uh, Ireland and Portugal are the two places that he mentions where they didn't have, they don't have these sort of like sectarian conflicts centered in their politics. And so that enables the type of politics that I know. I believe in, Katie believes in, Saga believes in, I don't know exactly what Matt believes in, but (laughs) because what it collapses down to, if the entire content of your politics is just about like, Who's on the other side? Who do you hate? What are the right words to say to put that other side in its place? Then it makes it impossible to have universal programs that are going to help everybody. Why do I want to help this person who like wants to destroy me and destroy my life? Why do I want to help this person who I'm afraid of or who I hate? Yeah. It, it really renders the type of politics that at least I believe in um, impossible. This um, trend of educated elites like education elites congregating in effectively the Democratic Party in all these countries around the world and financial elites remaining in the right wing or Republican Party, um, except actually the U.S., where even the financial elites have mostly moved over predominantly into the Democratic Party. And again, the, the reason for that is partly because the U.S. has become politics has become all about this like culture war and identity wars. And that's why you have this coalescing of basically all elites. There is a huge shift underway in this country. There is a coming together of elites that we've never seen before in our lives. And they're gathering of the elites behind uh, uh, Biden, behind the Democrats. Well, there's many aspects of it that blow my mind. The first one is that it includes the intelligence agencies. Mm -hmm. Like, what Mm -hmm. the hell? Like, since when have they been part of the, the liberal consensus? 